Hey guys, Shadi from Roto Rev and Peel Drone. Uh, quick video today, D Shot. Today we do have the uh, Speedex ES30. Um, reports are already that ES, Speedex ES25 been successfully working with D Shot even 600 by removing the filter cap. Today we'll go through this with a little bit of tracing. Um, here is the filter that needs to be removed. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually a capacitor or more of an inductor or whatever. So it is this little white one here. And that is what is preventing uh, the ES30 from working on digital D-Shot. Again, it's a great uh, leap, I would say. Uh, running with digital versus analog. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of this. I'm just going to go quickly over how to remove this without even using solder station or solder equipment and flashing it and testing it with D Shot 600, 300, and what so. Um, so, as you can see, it's really tight spot here, and I did try a couple times with solder it's it gets a little bit hairy down there so exact knife um, this one is a worth a heavy duty kind of thing I don't know if that makes uh, any difference I'll try just to focus down here and get a good angle on it and while being able to work on it too so what I did is just Let's just go with that one like so. Just wedge that down there underneath it. You don't need to use a lot of force. And just flick it. That's it. Comes out, jumps off. Here it is. If you can see it, it's really tiny. And it's gone. Okay, so that's it. This is gone. Uh, next thing would be uh, soldering this on and flashing it and testing. Um, I have a low battery on the camera, so let's just do that really quick here. Just heat up the. Just gonna. A little bit of flux. And let's solder that quickly. One, clean flux again, and last lead. And voila. just a quick job here, nothing really pretty. And we'll just solder the ground. This is just a test rig that I have. And roll that down. And go for the positive. Sorry if the camera goes out of focus, nothing really essential here. Just hooking this up. And going positive. There has been some reports of some desyncs on some ESCs, not specifically um, the Spidex, but I think the Spidex wouldn't really have, or I, I hope it doesn't have that problem because it does have a lot of capacitance here. So uh, some, uh, some guys have been suggesting to actually um, add a capacitor here to the uh, input to actually counteract the effect of removing the signal filter. I would really hope that I wouldn't have to do that with the Speedex. That would be an extra weight I don't really want to carry. So let's just solder the signal wire and we're good. Okay, so we got that connected, this, that, and Let's go quickly over these steps. Um, 
The firmware, it's still under development, so it's not by default under your uh, Bia Heli software. So, I'll just connect that here now. Okay, let's just close that. And. Okay. So, we'll go quickly over this. Uh, sorry, that's just. Uh, so, we'll go to BL Heli. Fire up BL Heli here. Let's just connect the battery. So, I'm just trying to do this. And. Sorry. Okay. Connect to COM3. And. Oh, sorry. A bit of light kicked in, so I have to turn that off. Okay, we'll connect. I'll check. Oh, okay. So here's the trick it wouldn't connect because it is. The uh, flight control has been sh set to D shot, so you have to go one shot. I believe that issue has been solved in the new firmware, but I haven't changed the firmware on the flight controller. So you have to put it back to one shot or any of the old analogs. And then disconnect, go back, connect here, check. So we can read one of the SCs, uh, go flash other. And then these are the firmwares that I got here. I know that this one goes with CH15. As you can see, this is what is default on it. So I'll just go through CH15. And this is 16.43. Bunch of warnings. Da, da, da. Okay. Don't worry about this, not responding, whatever. Still just going through the flash. And then. Okay, so one thing I would just move the PPMs to 2000 and 1000. Okay, and then write setup. Okay, disconnect that. And then I would connect and go to configuration. Again, this is 3.10. And then I would change the protocol to DSHOT 600. Uh, now, the min and max throttle doesn't really make any difference at this point. There's no need for calibration on the digital system. So hit save and reboot. And now we are on the shot 600. Let's just go to motors here and enable that. And let's fire it up. And here we go. got D shot 600 again not that I really or any of us would really need much of a D shot right now of 600 but in case you want to try that but yeah that's what it is and we got D shot 600 that's it for today uh, hope you guys have fun one step that I didn't go through is actually flashing your flight controller with the 3.1 uh, firmware that would support the shot because um, on default here the latest is 301 and you just gotta have to go to the github and uh, or beta flight it's there is a, a thread on RC group to do that uh, thanks for watching stay tuned